Being able to print your company's envelopes in your own business office is something that a lot of companies don't have the luxury of, but thanks to your RISO, you'll be able to do it with ease. However, it's important to make some small adjustments to the way the printer is configured when you go to print those envelopes. The first thing to consider is your envelopes. You want to make sure that they are crisp and clean and not what we call fluffy, meaning that if the flaps have been let to lay open for too long, it can add some extra space, which could cause some issues. But these look great, so let's go ahead and load them in. I always put my flap towards the front of the machine. Reason being is that's how most envelope documents are set to print. Make sure you check that when going to load them in. Previously, we discussed making adjustments to the paper guides to make sure that it guides the paper in and can read the envelopes correctly. So we're going to take out our existing paper, load these in, adjust our paper guides, and lock them into place. However, there's also some other adjustments because they are envelopes that you need to make from the control panel. You start off by selecting system info. From here, you see you have the option to choose paper tray settings. And while it can tell that it is a non-standard paper size, you'll want to click on paper size. Going under the standard tab, which may seem confusing because it thinks it's a non-standard paper size, but believe it or not, those envelopes are a standard size. They're a number 10 and it's preloaded into here. By selecting that and hitting OK, it will bring you back a page. You're not done yet. See, we talked about the flaps on an envelope, and that makes it a slightly thicker type of paper going in through the printer. So you'll want to go on to paper type and select the thickness tab. From here, you can see an envelope is a pre-selected option. From there, select envelope, hit OK, hit your home screen, and now you're good to go to print your own envelopes in-house. And the great thing about Ariso is it can print up to a thousand envelopes in 20 minutes. How's that for some productivity? The machine will run envelopes well. There's just a couple precautions you need to take before you load them onto the standard feed tray only. First of all, you want to get them out of a box that's, that's pretty new. You want some the freshest envelopes possible. When you take them out, you can't really load more than 25, 30 max on the tray because of the way that they rise up. When you get them out of the box, you definitely want to fan, it, fan out the envelopes like this. Maybe a little twist to get the envelopes to lay flat on the tray. Just kind of form the, the corners of the envelope down a little bit so again they will stay flat and run nice and smooth through the machine. You do, you do this and you have, you'll be running envelopes like a champ. Now one thing I'll say about this, Brianna, is it's important that when you're done running envelopes to change it back to a standard size. Okay, so why is that so important usually? Because this is a physical change that is, is brought within the machine and it will not change back by just simply hitting the reset button. It has to be and if it's set for envelope and somebody were just running letter size paper, would that be an issue? It would. If you went, um, if you put letter size paper or just paper back on the tray and you were in envelope mode, you're going to have image problems, jamming problems, etc. So it is important to go back to standard. Okay, and is it just the thickness or do should we reset all settings every time? Yes, so it's definitely a good question. You want to go back to type and you would go cancel out of that one more time and go back to paper size and set that one back to auto because you don't want to run you know eight and a half by eleven paper or legal paper in a envelope size. Mm -hmm.